Thank you for acknowledging my ability to continue my career for 34 years in the face of blatant misogyny, sexism, constant bullying, and relentless abuse. When I started, there was no internet, so people had to say it to my face. There were very few people I had to clap back at because life was simpler then. When I first moved to New York, I was a teenager. It was 1979, and New York was a very scary place. In the first year, I was held up at gunpoint, raped on a rooftop with a knife digging into my throat, and I had my apartment broken into and robbed so many times, I just stopped locking the door. Photos that were taken from art schools that I posed for back in the day to make money, they weren't very sexy. In fact, I looked quite bored. I, w I was. Um, but I was expected to feel ashamed when these photos came out, and I was not, and this puzzled people. Eventually, I was left alone because I married Sean Penn, and not only would he bust a cap in your ass, <laughs> but I was taken off the market. So for a while, I was not considered a threat. I'm receiving an award for being Woman of the Year, so I ask myself, what can I say about being a woman in the music business? What can I say about being a woman? When I first started writing songs, I didn't think in a gender-specific way. I didn't think about feminism. I just wanted to be an artist. I was, of course, inspired by Debbie Harry and Chrissy Hine and Aretha Franklin, but my real muse was David Bowie. He embodied male and female spirit, and that suited me just fine. He made me think there were no rules. But I was wrong. There are no rules if you're a boy. If you're a girl, you have to play the game. What is that game? You are allowed to be pretty and cute and sexy, but don't act too smart. Don't have an opinion. Don't have an opinion that is out of line with the status quo, at least. You are allowed to be objectified by men and dressed like a slut, but don't own your sluttiness. And do not, I repeat, do not share your own sexual fantasies with the world. Be what men want you to be, but more importantly, be what women feel comfortable with you being. <laughs>